Hello, good morning. So I have here my road fountains and I've had that. I normally marble them sometimes, not always. And what I normally do is, if you, are, you really want to write with your press set onto your cake, you have to check the colors you are using, especially when it's a cream cake. When it's a cream cake and I'm making maybe with kiwi topping sauce, I make sure whatever I cut out is green. If it's strawberry, maybe pink or red will do. And even if it's blueberry, you can just color something purple or move and use for your writing. So I have here a cut out. This isn't really perfect. I'm just using for a demo. And I have here the holder. If your hands are really straight, you just start to pick the alphabet one after the other and emboss it directly onto your fondant. But it's a whole waste of time picking H, embossing A, embossing. So this one is here to help us push the alphabet through. And you have to, when you get them, when you get your um, press set, they are all together as in one full something, something like this. So you have to break them out into smaller pieces. And if you are breaking them out, you make sure you are not getting any trees. You are not, it, no, it's not going to follow any trees. So you see, yeah, it has some traces here. So you see, it has something leading to the next cutter. It has some lines there leading to the next alphabet and other stuff. Sorry, my camera isn't really focused. Okay, so it has something leading there. Make sure if you're going to use a knife, you cut it out very well. You don't cut through the alphabet or you don't break the alphabet. So you see, all my own are singly separated. If those ones are there, when you push it through here, it wouldn't go. If you push it through the alph alphabet code, it wouldn't go through. So you should make sure you've, you've um, brought out all those pieces around it. If you push it through, it wouldn't go. And if you don't break it all, if you push it through, it will get stuck. And it wouldn't hold its shape or it will even sometimes get crooked, especially if it's eye. The eye, are, the eye is very troublesome. Sometimes you push it through and it turns itself and comes out. So you have to be very careful when handling it. So I'm going to just put the happy inside here and I'll show you how to emboss it. So as you can see, I just pushed the happy through. So this is the happy, I'm just going to emboss it. So if you have maybe happy 50th birthday, you just push it through so that it will come down a bit. You see, I just pushed it downwards. Then you bring the 50 and the TH after the happy. So happy 50th, then you just take your fondant, you position it anywhere you want to. So you see, you just press. That's why we call press it. You bring it out. You have your happy here. So you continue with your birthday. Let me continue, let me do the birthday. So I have the birthday also in here. I'm just going to bring it downwards. So here is happy. The birthday. Make sure it's very straight. Then you just push it through. Happy birthday. So we have happy birthday. So you see, the marbling isn't really bad. And if you are going to make it on a white fondant. And going to place it on a white cake, nobody will see the writings. It wouldn't be really visible. So what you need to do is just paint the white out gold and make your writing very simple. So let's write the Eve and we are done. So our uh, Eve is in here. E V E. Happy birthday. So we just bring it downwards. You check if you are just on track. Then just press Happy Birthday Eve. We are done. So if you want to, if you want it to stand, you should make it overnight, and your fondant should be thicker than this. You just push in through your skewer. Let me bring it out. So this is skewer. You can just push, let's say two or three inside. You push one here, the other here, the other here, and you set it overnight. The following day, it will harden enough for you to just push it through your cake and let it stand as a topper. So the happy birthday if can be a topper, it can lie on your cake. Any, any way you can just place it beside your cake. Any way you feel like putting it, you just put it there. So this is how to use our preset. Thanks once again. Good morning.